We're here today with my guns and my religion with two heroes of the Patriot Movement, heroes of America, Dr. Alan Keyes and Sharp Knox, which if you told me a year ago, my arm, his left arm, which I'm probably not going to wash for a week, would be around Dr. Alan Keyes, I would have told you you were out of your mind. <laughs> Dr. Keyes, that was so, 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 so much. And Sheriff Mack, you guys, Thanks, man. you are, you are heroes of mine a lot. And I'm going to give you a chance, say what you will to my, like, almost two dozen viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to say that the most important message there is, is the one represented by the pastor here. Because at the end of the day, we're going to lose everything we hold dear if we don't remember the connection between our God and our liberty. Without faith, there is no freedom. Without God, there is no liberty. We will hold on to no idea of right, and therefore we will lose all our rights if we let go of him. Uh, Sheriff Mack, what do you want to say? It's always very Well, uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, my very first book, I have a quote by Dr. Keyes in the book, uh, from my cold, dead fingers. And uh, Dr. Keyes, at a speech he gave in Orem, Utah, about 15 years ago, inspired me when I was writing this. And he said, the only difference between today's slavery and the slavery of the Old South is that at least the plantation owners paid for the chains. Now we're paying for our own. We've got to stop this. And there is a way, there is a solution to take back America. And that's my other book, and that is The County Sheriff, America's Last Hope. And we can take America back, but it's not going to happen in Washington, D.C. hate to disappoint you on that one. It's not going to happen in Washington, D.C. It can happen in the country, though. It can happen in every county because we have sheriffs and county commissioners standing against the criminality of the federal government. You want to stop crime? Abolish the IRS. Amen. <laughs> Gentlemen. God bless you and all your work and in all your endeavors and on behalf of a grateful nation. Thank you for being a voice for those who stutter when they stand up in front of a microphone. God bless you.